Hello students, let us see this question here. Uh, two particles undergo SHM along parallel lines with the same time period T and equal amplitudes. Okay, the time period is same and the amplitude is also same. At a particular instant, one particle is at extreme position while other is at the mean position. So let us saw mean position, they move in the same direction. They will cross each other after a further time. Okay, so at this instant, this is the position given. So, so let us solve these questions with the help of the phasor diagram. So I am making the phasor diagram here. All right. So so if I talk about uh, the first SHM, okay. So let us talk about this is the SHM one, and say the lower part is the SHM two. So for the first SHM at this instant, uh, the particle is at the positive extreme. So the phasor corresponding to this will be here. So let us take this is your one. Okay. And for the second one, it is at the mean position and going towards the negative direction. So for this one, the phasor will go here. So let us mark it with blue line. So this is the phasor two. Okay. Now it is saying uh, they move in the same direction. So obviously they are moving in the same direction. Okay. Now saying they will cross each other after a further time. I mean uh, the phasors are here. Now it is saying after how much time uh, both the particles will cross each other. It is saying. Okay. So now the phasor will start moving since uh, the amplitude is same. So both are depicted on the same phasor diagram. So the length of these two vectors will be same. That is A A. And the, since the time period is same for both the SHM, so the omega will also be the same for both phasors. All right. So, okay. So now, after some time, this phasors will start rotating. And uh, right. So after some time, this blue phasor will come here, and this yellow phasor will come here. So up to that period, right, uh, right, when the yellow phasor is coming this way, the particle is the particle for SHM one is moving in this path. Okay, and when the blue phasor is going like this, then the particle of second SHM is moving on negative part, so they will not cross each other. So after the yellow or the SHM one phasor is come here, and the blue phasor will come here. Okay, till that point, no crossing will happen. Okay, after that, the yellow part will move here. Some, if assume the yellow part came here, and the blue part went this. And the SH and the phasor for SHM2 suppose came to this point. Okay. Now if you'll see, right, if I draw this line here, so this is the 90 degree. So for the SHM1, right, so this is the SHM1 here. And this is the SHM2 phasor. So at this instant, uh, for the SHM1 also the particle is at this position and for the SHM2 also the particle is at this position. So at this position they are crossing each other. So this is the time at which they will cross. So all I need to find the, the total time taken to reach at this position. So if you'll see here, right, assume this angle is theta. Okay, so the by right, so if you'll see here this triangle and this right triangle both are congruent by the RHS because this length is equal to this length because the amplitude is same, right? One common side and one angle is 90 degrees. So, right, uh, so I can say this triangle and this triangle are congruent. So, this angle is theta, so this angle will also be theta. Okay, now you can say, okay, so now we'll see this angle is 90 degrees. All right. And uh, if you'll see here, uh, this angle is also 90 degree. So suppose this angle is alpha here. So the yellow has rotated 90 plus alpha. So the first phasor has rotated the angle of 90 plus alpha. Okay. And the second, the blue phasor has rotated angle by 90 plus theta. Because this angle is 90 and this angle is theta I have taken. So that is the 90 plus theta. So both the phasors have taken the same time, all right? And for both the phasors, omega is same. This, so these two angles must be equal because the time taken is same and the omega is also same. So these two angles must also be equal. So from here I can say alpha is equal to theta. So this alpha will also be replaced with theta also. 
So this alpha I can replace with theta. So now I can say this theta plus this theta is 90 degree. So from here I can say 2 theta will be equal to pi by 2. So this implies theta is equal to pi by 4. So the total angle, right, right, the total angle subtended by this yellow phasor or you can say the phasor 1 will be 90 plus pi. So I can say total angle subtended, you can say total angle traversed by phasor 1 is equal to pi by 2 plus, right, because this angle is pi by 2 and this theta is pi by 4, so that will become pi by 4 here, so that becomes 3 pi by 4. So this is the total angle uh, the phasor 1 has moved. So I need to find the time. So I will say the time is equal to total angle it has moved that is 3 pi by 4. And with how much speed it is moving? So, so let us take uh, the phasor is moving with angular speed omega here. So this is the omega. Now I can, I can multiply it with 2 pi or you can see I can multiply it with 2 here and denominator also with 2. So this is suppose the time taken. So this is a capital T. Now I can say this becomes 3 by 8 into 3 and this 4 into 2 8 and that becomes 2 pi by omega. So 2 pi by omega is the time period. So I can say here 3 upon 8 T. So after, so the time is coming 3 pi by 8. So, so 3 pi 3 upon 8 t, the phasor 1 will take to come from here to here and at this instant it will cross each other. So the answer will be 3 upon 8 t. So let us see which option is matching. Option D is correct. Okay students, I hope you understood this question.